Howdy folks, BusyGamer here with our first Mindscape dev blog update. This is a pretty big one because a blog writer has been chosen and that writer is Portego. So from now on you guys can expect to see consistent bi-weekly update blogs and in return I'll be making videos for it. If you guys want to then leave a comment down below tell me what your favorite update was at the end of this video. So the first one is the Dragonhide Armor update. Players now have the ability to make Dragonhide armor. This ranging gear is currently best in slot and there are four different types of Dragonhide armor. Those four are Green Dehide, which requires 63 crafting to make along with 40 defense and range to wear. Blue Dehide, which requires 71 crafting to make along with 40 defense and 50 range to wear. Red Dehide, which requires 77 crafting to make along with 40 defense and 60 range to wear. Last but not least, Black Dehyde, which requires 84 crafting to make along with 40 defense and 70 range to wear. As of this update, Green Dehyde armor is the only one available to make slash use. Grand Exchange Updates The Grand Exchange has had an awesome rework done to it. There is now a guide price for items that are actively traded, which can be very helpful for both new and old players alike in fighting the price of an item. Players can also take advantage of all 6 slots now in the Grand Exchange, and members have access to unlimited slots. Those extra slots can be accessed via the arrows highlighted here. Scrapping Duplicate Rewards Players now have the ability to scrap duplicate cosmetic items received from treasure chests into Platinum Tokens. In the future, one can expect to use Platinum Tokens to buy chest and cosmetic items. Common items can be scrapped for 60 tokens, rare items for 75 tokens, and legendary items are a whopping 100 tokens. The boss bar. When you join the server, you will now notice a boss bar at the top of the screen. In future updates, this will be made customizable so players can change it to show what they want. Amulets. The modeler has done some fantastic work and amulets will now display on your character. Other minor changes slash updates. Slash Volt Pool double XP now lasts 2 hours instead of 3. Ivan Blast is no longer in game. Removed Compass Command and added to General Stores. Added Coal Bag at Drogos Mining Emporium. Added Dragon Bones to Player's Skill Packs. And much more. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching the first of many dev vlog update videos. You can expect to see one of these every two weeks and the upload date will be moved to Friday after this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe. Without further ado, BusyGamer out.